good likeness of Brolin. I'm just gonna hold that there for a second. You can leave seams or you can potentially tear the materials. What is in the box? Welcome to this week's episode of What's in the Box. I'm your host GQ. Let's get right into it. We've got an awesome, awesome thing, especially with Wolverine. I'm sorry, let me, let me do that properly. Especially with Deadpool and Wolverine about to drop on 4K Steelbook Blu-ray. I know some of y'all don't like physical media. I don't care. I have every single MCU film in 4K Steelbook. So this one is a, not gonna be an exception. Definitely enjoyed that film. From what I understand, it actually passed The Avengers as one of the highest uh, domestic takes. That's a huge accomplishment. So, in honor of all of that coolness and greatness, got something from the second Deadpool movie. Good old Josh Brolin himself, the man, Cable. Of course, he played Thanos as well, referenced in the film. But uh, yeah, he played Cable, and he did a great job playing Cable. Of course, you have him as Cable on the front here. <laughs> of course, good news, this had the Deadpool logo. Cable on the side. Warnings, cast on the back. Once again, Deadpool symbol and cable on there. And of course, this is from Deadpool 2. So let's get into it and check it out. This is another one that I picked up in Vegas. I know you guys are tired of hearing about Vegas, but it's awesome. You have great collectible stores out there. And yet another one that uh, fell victim to getting inspected by the TSA because it was inside that large box of uh, collectibles and stuff that I had. I like to put my stuff in safe and secure. So I don't know, apparently they thought the box is a little bit big and suspect, so they decided to open it up and check all of its contents. So he was in there, so that's what, that's what happened. Obviously there were a lot of references made to the fact that uh, Brolin is not the, I think almost six foot nine that Cable is supposed to be from the comics. I could be wrong um, about that height. I do have the first appearance of Cable graded comic, but I don't know a ton about Cable. I was honestly, as a kid, introduced to Cable because of the X-Men cartoon back in the day. Um, so <laughs> that's where a lot of my first knowledge of Cable really came from. It was cool in the comics. I mean, I've never, again, didn't dislike the character. It was just one of those things where like, Wolverine was my main character in almost every fighting game that had him in it, so I was paying a lot more attention to Wolverine at that time. Uh, is he not going to stand very well? Probably not. Eh, not too bad. Take a chance, put him on the turntable and see. Move box. All right. They did a good job of recreating. I mean, again, it's, you know, Hot Toys. They usually do a very good job. He's got his poncho on. Um, Good likeness of Brolin. Of course, he's got his metallic arm, which <laughs> in the original teaser was just the green sleeve that they show. <laughs> Again, Ryan Reynolds is a genius for the way he, he handles the Deadpool character. So very, very cool. Uh, let's see. So yeah, the metal arm looks good. That's not I mean, very cool. Kind of almost Terminator-esque. Apparently, oh sweet, you can bring his hood up so you can wear the hood if you want. I don't, of course it comes off. Yeah, so you can take the uh, the poncho off if you want and it looks like he's got <laughs> throwback to the 90s uh, comic books and, and uh, Mr. Liefeld. He's got plenty of spaces to put stuff, so pouches on pouches all over this character, which is hilarious. Um, for those that don't know, that was one of the memes of the 90s comics where pat pouches and packs and ammo spaces and all over the characters. Like you could barely tell, like any costume had to have like at least 30 pouches on it somewhere, some way. Uh, of course it comes with his uh, the teddy bear. That was his daughter's. So that's pretty cool. And we all saw the movie. He's got to have an assortment of weapons and they do not disappoint in that d department. I'm just gonna hold that there for a second just so you guys can kind of just get an idea of just how ridiculous his arsenal is. And I'm pretty sure 
there is a way to pack him up with every single thing on this figure without anything being left off. So that's actually very cool. Um, does it have the dial? Yes, it does. Can't really make it out of the detail on it. It's, I'll get a very, very good close up of the rifle, the gun, whatever, and see. But yeah, he does have the dial on it, which is crazy. Uh, it comes with this time slipping or time slip device. The time slip, of course, is a carryover from the Marvel versus Capcom 2 game, which Cable was a monster in that game. Comes with a standard assortment of hands, and of course, since he has a metallic hand, he has some metallic um, variants, as well as his gloved hand here. Huh. Older style, he comes with a crotch grabber. It's interesting. And, yep, the stand is a little bit older style, too. Um, it is, you know, the the hexagon, which is cool. And no metal nameplate, unfortunately, just cable right there on the front. It's a little stamp, basically. But yeah, it has his um, his time device, basically, as the artwork on the base. So that's pretty cool. It looks, it looks good. All in all, not too bad. There is a deluxe version of this that I think comes with a um, his energy shield that he had. I'm not big on displaying a lot of the effects, um, accessories and that sort of thing with these six scale. As you can see, a lot of mine are in the kind of standard museum pose. Because the problem is with some of the dynamic poses, if they have um, costumes, basically, or you know anything that's kind of stretchy, you can leave seams or you can potentially tear the material. So the museum pose, as boring as it might look for some people, is the best way to protect the, uh, the figure itself. So I don't need a little bullet shield for him. I think he looks cool as is. Once I get all the uh, accessories put on him, get some good photos of him, take a look from there. But all in all, very pleased with this. Um, again, <laughs> same store, Brad's Toys and Collectibles who probably should be sending me a paycheck by now for as many times as I've um, plugged them because <laughs> that's where I'm getting all this cool stuff in Vegas. I'm just gonna be 100% honest, they are one of the better uh, chain stores actually out there. But um, I actually picked this up at their main location, which is um, on the, I wanna say that would technically be the south end of the strip, like way down past the, you know, all the way past the strip basically. Uh, but usually one of my first stops when I get into Las Vegas. So those guys, you know, great store, huge selection. So, you know, great group of guys that work there. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely pleased every time I, I do go out there and, and shop their stores. As you can see, I'm always bringing back stuff to unbox. So, yeah, that's pretty much what was in the box today. Um, if you guys are enjoying this content, please leave, consider leaving a like. You know, subscribe to the channel. Helps the, you know, the algorithm and all that other sort of stuff so we can you know, get some more views and all that other great stuff. And also let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if you guys would like me to um, add anything to this, change how it's done a little bit. You know, let me know. Just give me some feedback. Let me know how, what you guys are thinking of the content so far. And also consider, um, if you're not busy on a Wednesday evening, uh, check out the Culture Junkies live show, which is at 9 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube, Twitch, uh, Facebook and uh, Kick, yeah, Kick is the other one. So yeah, great show. We have a lot of fun on that show. Me and the guys chopping it up about a variety of topics, and also there's a live chat going on, so you guys can put your comments in, bring up interesting topics and different news and little interesting tidbits and topics that you guys would like to talk about. We'll talk about it right there live on the show. So once again, for Deadpool 2 from Hot Toys, one six scale cable. I'm GQ, and I'll see you guys next time.
Thank you for checking out this video today. If you would like to support the Culture Junkies, consider going to the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash culture junkies and becoming a supporter on through Patreon. You can also, if you enjoyed the content, please consider giving us a like or leave a comment on the video. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's anything that can be improved or changed. And also, if you would like to see more of this content, check out the video on your left for more unboxing videos. And if you want to check out the live show, our latest episode is right there on your right.